This is the Ram TRX, and basically it's a 700 horsepower desert racing truck with cup holders and a warranty. This is an extremely specialized piece of equipment. It's very expensive, very fast, extremely powerful, and it takes everything Mopar knows about extreme performance cars and puts it into a truck. And not just any truck. In this video, I'm going to go through a few thoughts and observations from a few thousand kilometers of testing in Northern Ontario and a few of the things that you can start getting excited about if you're one of the psychopaths who got their order into a dealer and maybe you're waiting for your TRX to arrive. The heart and soul of this machine is the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 from a Hellcat, but with a few optimizations for off-roading, including this desert racing style air intake and a repositioned alternator and oiling system. You get 702 horsepower, about 300 more than a standard Hemi. That's good for zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. With all four Wrangler Territory tires lit up most of the way through first gear en route to a sub 13 second quarter mile pass. The performance is massive and there's enough surplus firepower to make passing 18 wheelers on the highway a bit like firing a rocket launcher. Noise, thrust and heavy metal hurtling through the air at high speed. I mean, quite literally, if you keep your foot to the floor for like five or 10 seconds, you get sort of a facelift from the G-Force. You get out of here looking 10 years younger. Power flows permanently to all four wheels. There's auto, low, high, and the launch control button for computer-assisted drag race starts. You don't need it though, just stand on the throttle and everyone on board is immediately welded to their seats and the TRX feels like it's going to pull a wheelie. Seriously, this is way too much power and that's just what fans of this machinery love. With the supercharged SRT racing engine as the star of the show, engineers added skid plates, extensive suspension and chassis reinforcements, extra damping, and even this interesting strut mounted to the top of the indestructible Dana 60 between the rear wheels to help stabilize that rear axle for a higher performing drive. That's all suspended by this advanced terrain dynamic suspension system. Unlike regular springs, which are pretty dumb, these remote reservoir electronically controlled shocks are alive. They have a nervous system and they can accurately manage the ride and body motion controls of the vehicle in real time thanks to dampers that can change how springy they are in a fraction of a second continuously. Result, this suspension is designed to keep drivers and their passengers comfortable and in control even while it's being punished. And that same tech also means the on-road ride is surprisingly forgiving and laid back on most paved surfaces too. So a suspension designed to laugh in the face of torture while keeping its occupants comfortable and its driver in full control. There are even special sensors on those shock absorbers that know when the vehicle is airborne to help make for a better landing that lets the driver regain control faster. That's one technology that lets drivers experience super truck performance, but also a really comfortable ride if they're just out exploring some new places in no particular hurry. The point is you're equipped to comfortably tackle even rough terrain at very high speed if you like. The specialty reinforced off-road tires connect it all to the ground and they're attached to a driveline and chassis built of a unique selection of over-spec reinforced hardware. Even the TRX's frame has been re-engineered, built from uprated materials and strengthened extensively. So the TRX is extremely powerful, but also extremely tough. On many of the roads where I live, that is important. Hit a pothole, frost heave, or busted up train crossing and the bump, not the truck, feels like it's getting the lousy part of the deal. You even get two full-size spare tires, meaning a few extra lives if you happen to damage one. With TRX built to take the abuse from just about anything you drive over, there's a fun new way to deal with tailgaters. Just aim for the biggest pothole you can and you'll lead them right into it. This won't hurt the TRX, but nothing stops someone riding your backside like blowing a tire off on a pavement crater. It's a fun sport and one that helps remind tailgaters to think twice about leaving so little space. Of course, with such racy intentions, there are some things you'll need to get used to about your new TRX. For instance, the cold start and frigid temperatures. You always know the remote start worked since you can hear the engine fire up from inside of your house and so can all of your neighbors. If you need to leave or return home quietly, this is not your machine. Walk up to it while it's idling on a cold morning and it sounds like you're about to board a helicopter. Also, clearly, it's massive. If you like the feeling of driving a big, very wide truck, you'll like this, though it does make the TRX harder to park, maneuver in tight quarters, or navigate through narrower trails. Getting in and out might be a bit of a challenge too. These are rock rails, not steps. I don't trust them as a step anyways. 
and smaller or mobility-challenged passengers may need a helping hand to get in and out. On board, the interior is very nicely done, quite fitting of the price tag, I think. The new generation Ram has an award-winning cabin, and TRX makes that its own with unique graphics, colors, stitching, and high-end finishes. There's loads of room for your passengers, and at-hand storage, that is, the space to keep smaller items you frequently travel with, is more than generous. It's easy to keep your things secured and organized on the go. But the most interesting thing in here is probably the central command system, designed to give drivers full access to the capabilities of the high-performing hardware they've just invested in. You can customize anything about how this truck is set up at a button press for the situation at hand. So fully automatic mode, preset modes, or full customization, you're the boss of the TRX. This is basically a comfortable monster truck with a lovely cabin and nothing less than every off-road toy and motor racing toy an enthusiast would love. Tough, fast, huge, heavy, and with incredible traction. That's the core of the TRX's unique driving experience. And at full throttle, the engine sounds like the angry love child of a machine gun turret and a jet turbine engine. 702 horsepower pickup truck. Ha! <laughs> There's no need for that. On the basis of offering something new and exciting for hardcore driving enthusiasts to enjoy on virtually any terrain, TRX has you covered. If you've ever wanted to own your own horrifyingly fast racing truck, then here it is, though the acceleration isn't the most horrifying part of the TRX. This is. Not to unleash any radical concepts here, but nothing with 700 horsepower is doing your wallet any favors at the pumps. There's no fuel economy to be had with this truck. She'll suck back 20 liters per 100 clicks of high test if you're driving nicely and at full throttle. With the supercharger blasting compressed air into the cylinders and the fuel injectors flowing like Niagara Falls, the consumption is incredible. If you have a speedboat, you'll be roughly used to the mileage. If you like going fast and making noise, which is likely if you're after one of these, it is a tough experience to beat. You feel the shrieking surge of the supercharger bolted to this all-American racing engine squash your eyeballs into your skull, and the pull at high revs is little less than explosive. So to the nearly $120,000 they want for a unit like my loaded tester, you'll also need to budget about $150 or so worth of super unleaded every time you take a half day's road trip. It doesn't matter if you're driving gently, and you won't be anyways. The constant whine of that supercharger, and the fact that it sounds nearly irritated to be working at anything less than full throttle, means that you'll need the self-restraint of a Buddhist monk to keep out of the power and to keep the TRX from burning through its fuel supply like an orbit-bound rocket thruster. To put it simply, this machine really, really wants to go all the time, and it is constantly telling you that. On one hand, it's an absolute expert at letting drivers enjoy tremendous performance in virtually any condition, and it's built to move quickly at high speed over rough terrain while giving drivers little to worry about other than enjoying the ride. On the other hand, the fuel mileage and noise and all-out firepower means this is something intended for a very specific shopper. So an obnoxious, extreme performance plaything built for fans of fast Mopars and big power pickups, but also a remarkable collection of remarkable tech and performance hardware. The TRX is the physical embodiment of a superiority complex. Seriously, this is way too much power, and of course, fans of vehicles like this wouldn't have it any other way.